Makes so sense. for what I did for for Crimson is I chose a game that basically had uh, Crimson content mm -hmm. and Crimson theme, uh, but has orange gameplay. And that is a game called Dawn of Man. And I gotta say, this isn't, I mean, all the games on this list are pretty awesome. This game is okay. It's, it's a colony management game where basically you're in control of a Neolithic society. You're trying to survive. Um, I chose this game because the technology, you know, a lot of these games have technology that, uh, you know, you research and kind of compounds onto itself. This game stops pretty much at Neolithic technology. So you, you sort of stay in this era. Um, so I'm just kind of presenting this game yeah. as, yeah. you know, an example of, of a Neolithic kind of crimson content game. But the, the game yeah, yeah, itself yeah. is orange. It's a strategy. Yeah, because, yeah, because you have the, the people in it are, you know, the, the crimson, but like you, you as a player in a, in a rational place. Yeah, because honestly, I mean, it's a good point. It's like, unless we're going to just say like, not like any video game, like the game is we put you in a stadium and release a lion. And if you survive, you win. Like. That's would be like, there you go. I mean, I don't know how to do or go go do survival. Like, that's probably what people really do these days is they go into those survival um, boot camp things, go in the woods and see if you can survive for a week. And we totally see more of that these days. Totally. And in a video game environment, it seems really hard to do. Yeah. yeah, it is. And and again, there are a number of survival games out there. Rust is another is another one which I've never played, but those even tend to be more uh amber because a lot of it you know a lot of your survival depends on forming relationships and, and partnerships with other players and going up with that so it leaves crimson really really quickly um but you know so that's why I, I chose this game yeah it is interesting i think we do see elements depending on the game type where you can maybe tap into that as one element you know like in minecraft depending on the level you're playing like you have to like eat some food right. before your food bar runs out and it's like just super basic you know which some people might find that annoying because it's just like, come on, I want to play a video game. I don't want to have to like pretend to eat food. Right. But, you know. And then for each of these stages, I also included an old school classic game, and it doesn't really get more classic or more old school than this one. Pac-Man. Man, I am old enough to remember back in the early 80s when we had just total and complete Pac-Mania. People were going nuts for this game. It was one of those games that made video games feel like magic, you know? I mean, it, it sort of broke video games into the mainstream in such a major way. And I think this is such an ideal example of a Crimson game. I mean, we've basically got two gameplay mechanics here. Eating and surviving. While running away from the magenta ghosts that are chasing you at just about every moment. Until you eat a power pellet, anyway, at which point you get to become a... Uh, a red hero and you get to turn around and devour all the, the superstitions that you were previously running away from. But at its core, again, it's just eating and surviving, which I think makes it a pretty ideal example of a Crimson game.